Okay, hi and welcome to this week's episode of J Man Can Allotment Diaries. Today, as usual, I'm going to try and keep it comical. I'm also going to try and teach you something, give you a couple of top tips. And at the same time, I'm also going to give you an update on the allotment. Now, today, what I plan to do is put my potatoes in the ground. We're in the middle of April, so I want to really get my potatoes in. There's a couple of other things that I want to seed, uh, and there's a couple of things that I want to transplant. I'm going to do some of them. Hopefully, you will uh, enjoy the video. It'll be funny, it'll be comical, and you'll learn something. Feel free to share, like, and subscribe. Follow my journey, first season here. Follow the Uh, dug it all over, made it really really nice and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my potatoes in but before I uh, before I put the potatoes in the ground I'm just going to make a little mark it's going to run all the way along here to the other end best way to do it is to stick in the ground there So it's about an equal distance from here to the other side. Piece of rope. Then all I'm gonna do is dig a small trench, put the potatoes in, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm actually gonna dig a trench after I've dug the trench. Okay, so now that I've dug this trench up going along um, and I've attached the, uh, a bamboo stick with, a, uh, with obviously a string to, to give me some guidelines, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to uh, put the, the potatoes in that I've actually been seeding. Now, I've been seeding two types. I've been seeding uh, charlatans, which are a great salad variety, and I've got a, another batch just there. And all I've been doing is I've been seeding them on a windowsill, as you can see, in the egg boxes. Um, now, I initially made a mistake. I put them in the dark and they started sprouting. Now, the white sprouts. I've learned I shouldn't have done that. However, it's okay. I put them straight in the, uh, on the window still and the sprout started going a darker color, a darker purple color. And what I've learned is you need to put them in sunshine so they do go darker. Now, I don't know if seeding them, chitting them actually works or not. There's been various studies but I'm led to believe if you start chitting them, i.e. getting the sparks going, it helps it, gives it a bit of a head start when it's on the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is make a small hole. So I've made this trench, so that's a little measurement. Um, I'm working on the base of about 30 centimetres apart, approximately measure that up. And then all it is is just... Dig a small hole, put this in, okay, with the chittings going upwards, straight in there, and then all I'm going to do is cover it over with soil, use this as a measurement, next hole, out here, chitting upwards again, put that in there, cover it with soil, carry on and do the whole length. Okay, so now that I've uh, put the potatoes in, I've put a tiny bit of compost just over them and I've put some white stuff, which I will reveal at the end of the video, just over. And all I'm going to do, quite simply, cover with soil. And that is it, that is one row done. I'm gonna do a second row along the stair. And then, uh, that's my potatoes in, it's now uh, middle of April. It's actually starting to rain, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Go home and relax.
Okay, so I don't know if you can see quite clearly, the soil should be humping there, going down there, going back up there, going back down and going back up there. Now what I did is, when I made the trenches, I made a trench along here, okay, and I also made a trench along here, that way, by making the trench, I mean the soil to the side that way, soil to the side that way, soil to the side that way, so it's high along here, high along the middle, and then also high along there. Now the reason for me doing that, now this is a top tip, so I'm probably obvious and probably a lot of people know, I didn't know when I first did it, now I know. The potatoes are going to start coming up just over here, just over here, just over here. And when they come up, you need to put soil on top. So if it was completely level and flat, you then have to dig a little trench and put it over. Now, because that is effectively in a trench and it's higher along the side, all I've got to do is when it comes over and I've got to cover the leaves over, put the soil just from this side straight on top of the soil, on top of the leaves there. Soil from this side on top of the leaves. And along there, same again. And along that side as well, when the leaves start popping up here, that popping up there and along soil from here just on top soil from here just on top and so on and so on this way that's at the bottom mound it up mound it up and it's just so easy to do from that side and that side so you should be able to see it's kind of higher goes in up and down and up so that is my top tip good luck okay thanks for watching the video this week hope you've had fun enjoyed it uh, it's been a little bit informative. The main thing is you get to follow the journey at the allotment. I'm going to be honest, the sun is out. It's absolutely beautiful. It's relaxed. It's such a nice, calm environment. I've had a bit of exercise because I've done a little bit of digging. More importantly, I've planted the potatoes. We're in the middle of April, so I need to get that done quite soonish if I want to harvest them at a particular time. So, if you've had fun, thumbs up, like, share. More importantly, subscribe and tell all your friends. Thanks a lot. It's a glorious day.